it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited about the video that I'm going to be talking about for like some reason. It just seems really fun. So I'm going to talk about it now. Today I'm going to be talking about series that are ending that I'm happy to see wrapped up but also kind of sad to see go. So let's talk about them. I know for a fact that there are a ton of books coming out that have already come out that I've read but don't own and I'm forgetting. There's just a ton of books out there and like it's kind of mind-boggling and slightly overwhelming. So th I'm only going to be talking about three series today and these are three series that I own that I've read and that I've loved and again kind of bittersweet to see them end. So two of them are historical and one of them is dystopian. So before I even begin, if you know or you think you know what book series I'm talking about today, I want you to leave a heart emoji. Let me know if you think you're right. And then if you were right, I want you to leave a laughing emoji. I would love to hear. Like, I really want to know your guys' thoughts. Please, help a girl out. Hear your curiosity. Let's talk about the series that I'm set to see go. I'm going to start this one off with a bang and go completely out of my comfort zone. Like, to a whole nother realm out of my comfort zone. And that is The Unblemished Trilogy by Miss Sarah Ella. Unbreakable comes out in May, I believe, and that will be our third and final book to the Unblemished Trilogy. And honestly, like, I'm kind of sad to see it go, but at the same time, I feel like it's time for it to wrap up and, you know, you see the end because she's keeping us in limbo, guys. She's just keeping us there, and she's cliffhangers after cliffhangers after cliffhangers. Like, my brain and my heart can only handle so much. You got me. Still to this day, I have not read Unraveling, but we're going to get there. I will read it before Unbreakable so that, you know, I read it correctly. But Unblemished was wonderful, and because of it, I'm now hooked on the series, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a reread. So, it is a series that so far I'm loving, and I feel like I'm going to love forever and talk about, but... I think it's just time to say goodbye to Ileana and Joshua and Kai and the second realm, the second reflection, and find a new world to read and love. But while it lasted, it was beautiful. So it is kind of bittersweet, bittersweet to see it end, but it had a good run. The next series I'm going to talk about is a historical one. And the only thing that is keeping me sane in the fact that this series is ending is that I know for a fact that I love this author, one, and two, that another series is in the works, and I know a couple tidbits about the series that I'm already like, bring it on, bring it to me, I'm so thinking, find it. Like, that's the only thing keeping me sane about the fact that this series is ending. It's kind of sad. But again, also sweet because I know that there are so many other things on the horizon for this author and for, well, all the other places she's going to take me. And that is the Apart from the Crowd series by Jen Toronto. Caught by Surprise comes out July 31st or August 1st, I believe. This book will kind of wrap up our wallflowers and they all find love and that's so so, so encouraging for the shy people. Not gonna lie to ya. Even though it's fiction, I still know that we're out there. We represent it, even in the fiction world, and love is out there for everybody. Love's out there for everybody, guys. It's out there. You just wait for your special man or your special woman. Like, they out there. They, if you shy, you good. You good. I've only, again, read behind the scenes from this series, 
I've yet to read Out of the Ordinary. I don't know why since Jen's my favorite. But I almost feel like I don't want it to end. Like I'll probably get book three and then inhale books two and three. But I've heard this is like might be her funniest book to date and I am all about a laugh. I cannot wait. And the covers are beautiful, like I can't wait to see them all lined up on my bookshelf, but that's just that point. Again, loved these characters, loved the family that they created in and of themselves in a wacky sort of way, and I'm sad to see them end, but I'm also happy to see the beginnings that are coming and the other stories that are coming down the way from Jen. I feel like she's just getting better and better and... There's so many things, but in the end, like, it's a toss-up to see which I'm feeling more towards, happy or sad. I think, I think we're just going to go with bittersweet for all of these. They have their ups and their downs, but this is definitely one that I'm sad and happy to see go. And the last series that I'm going to be talking about today is... Tales from Ivy Hill, book three, which I just saw the cover for a couple days ago, Bride of Ivy Green, is releasing in December of this year, and this will wrap up our story and our time in Ivy Hill. And it's just, again, it's bittersweet, and to see it go, I've loved the characters, I've loved the town, I've loved getting to know them. But I'm really excited to see where else Julie goes, and I'm really excited to see what other wonderful places she takes us, and what other wonderful characters she writes and she creates. Um, and I'm kind of ready for it to end because I just I really want it in my hands so that I can know what's going on. Mm, loose ends, loose ends. I can't take it. But again, that's another one. Bittersweet to see it end because I love them so much, but I also love the author so much that I'm ready to see where she takes me. But I also, I'm going to miss the characters quite a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed my short little list of series that I'm sad and kind of happy to see go. And again, there are so many series out there that are beginning and ending every year. There are so many series that I'm sure I'll be able to think about. So if you'd like to see a part two, please let me know. I'd love to help you guys out. And again, series are ending all the time. So there are so many options. If you guys agree with my list, let me know. I would love to know which series you're happy and sad to see go. And if you've read any of these books, I would love to know. The great thing about books, in my opinion, is that even though these series will end and I won't see these characters again in a consistent pattern, books I can reread. And if I ever get homesick for these towns and these places and these families that I've come to love, I can just pick up the book and find their story all over again. Something I've always enjoyed about reading is, touch the fingertips, I can be in a whole other world. All that ooey gooey squishy stuff. Book lovers, you know, we can talk forever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've talked about these books on my blog before, and I'm all, I've also talked about them on my Instagram before. My blog is for lowchristianfiction.boxspot.com, where I blog every Friday, and my Instagram is for lowchristianfiction. All my other links are in the description box below. Connect with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!